Hello guys, this is Jazzy Ray. It's been a while since I posted a video, but I've been dying to post this video. You read the title. Now, some people may get bent out of shape because I'm just going to tell the truth. And unlike some other people, I'm going to provide for solutions. You read the title, you know what it says. It says colorism. Now, some of you are probably wondering, even though, you know, there's no secret what colorism is. But just to, you know, for the people who are just like, what, what's colorism? I don't know what that is. Colorism is basically racism within the same race, within one race. So, like, in the black community, you have light skin versus dark skin. You know, discrimination within another race. That's basically what it is. And I am not going to sit here and just play one side. I'm going to just tell the truth about colorism. And some of you may not like it, but you can at least agree. You don't have to like it, but it's the truth. If you, if you, if you are listening to this whole thing and you're just getting angry and angry and angrier and angrier, then that means what I'm telling, what I'm saying in this video has to be the truth. Because nobody wants to, some people don't want to hear the truth. And I can't lie. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to play, you know, one side. Okay. I'm just going to tell you the truth. Colorism exists on both ends, meaning both sides, dark skin and light skin, play into colorism. However, the issue is dark skinned people know that colorism is a thing. It's a thing. Some play into it by spreading more colorism, by dogging out light skinned people. And some don't. Some feel like this is me dogging you out for being light-skinned. It's not helping the situation. We need to come up with solutions to end the situation so that everyone is happy. Light-skinned people don't even realize that they're... Now, I'm not saying all light-skinned people. Because you got some who realize that it's an, it's an issue. But you have some light-skinned people that are in denial that there is a such thing as light skin privilege in the black community, in the white community, or just with white supremacy and things like that. Nobody gives a damn about your light skin. Nobody does. You're still a nigger to them. So it doesn't really matter. You're still a nigger. You're, you, it, it doesn't matter. However, in the black community, um, colorism works in your favor. And that's just something that you just have to accept. It does. Okay, there is such thing as light skin privilege. That's just like saying there is no such thing as white privilege. But clearly, there is such thing as white privilege. Pri Obviously, right? I think that the lady, if you remember the barbecue video when the, the lady was calling the police, you know, clearly there's such thing, right, as white privilege. Clearly, like that whole video right there was just, you know. Even white people, even you even have some white people who understand that there is white privilege. So it's basically the same shit. Um, it's just a fact of the matter. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that light-skinned girls don't get picked on for being light-skinned, because they do. However, that was not my experience. I was lucky enough to not get picked on for pretty much anything. But I, if I did get picked on or if I did have girls hate on me, I never assumed it was for my light skin. They never even told me it was because of my light skin because most people didn't even care that I was light skin. I don't even consider myself to be light skin, but that's beside the point. Um, but however, you do have dark skin girls who get bullied as well for being dark skin. You see where I'm coming from with this. It's, it's just the truth. And... Light-skinned people, you have to realize that, yeah, you may get discriminated for being light-skinned, but dark-skins have it worse. Dark-skinned women have it way worse than you do. Because think about it. Look at, look, look at TV. Look at movies. Look, listen to the music. The lyrics. The rappers. I want me a yellow bone, red bone. When was the last time you heard a rapper say, I want a chocolate girl? Please let me know this because I've never heard a rapper say, 
I want a chocolate girl. The only musician that I know of today, not in the past, I'm talking about today, in today's music that does show love to the dark skin sisters is Trey Songs. And you can say what y'all want about Trey Songs. The one thing that he did do in his music videos, I mean, yeah, he did, he had a bunch of video girls in his videos, you know, twerking and stuff. But when he when he did like the love songs, he didn't just have light skinned girls play as his love interest. He also had dark skinned girls play as his love interest. Do y'all remember? Um, neighbors know my name. Um, who was in that video? Um, Jessica White, I think that's her name. Yeah, she was in it. So. And also in Heart Attack, Kelly Rowland, you know, so, yeah. And even, the, you know, his song, Cake, he talks about how dark-skinned girls got the chocolate, light-skinned girls are red velvet, and, you know, cake tastes great, I love all of it. You know, you know, so he, that's like the only person I know who in today's music that actually shows love to my fellow chocolate sisters. Now, I'm not chocolate, but y'all my sisters too. You see what I'm saying? And it's one thing to say that oh, all skin tones are beautiful. It's one thing to say that, but you have to prove it. I feel like some white skins use that, oh, all skin tones are beautiful, just to deny the fact that there is, there is... You know, just, just deny colorism that there's no such thing. Just to deny that they're the deny that fact. It's just like when a white person says, you know, it should be all lives matter, not black lives matter. Because all lives matter, but obviously all lives don't matter because black lives don't matter. So obviously all shades don't matter because the darkest shade gets treated like shit most of the time. So and they have no representation. Now, I will say in today's society, uh, the rep representation of dark skin can be better. It can be better, but it's good because I would say that Ryan Destiny is like on the come up. That's like she's beautiful, she's talented, her personality is bomb, she looks like a human brat's doll. So it's like, girl. She's really doing it for the dark skin sisters. And that's what I like to see. I love to see my dark skin sisters get shine. As well as seeing my light skin sisters get shine. And my brown skin sisters. That's the whole point. And you have to st you, you have to stand for it. And the one thing that I do is I promote all shades. So like for Women Crush Wednesday. I'll post a dark-skinned woman, a light-skinned woman, just to show people, not just, I think dark-skinned women are cute, but that they are beautiful. They are. And when any time when somebody says something, you know, to degrade a dark-skinned sister, I got to step in. I got to say something because it's not true and it's wrong. And if you say something against a light-skinned woman, I gotta step in and say something because it's wrong. Sometimes you can't fight fire with fire. Sometimes you can't. You can't. Because then both people end up getting burned up. You can't fight colorism with colorism. So you can't be, you can't woman say, I want to fight against colorism, but you're dogging out a light-skinned person or a dark-skinned person. You, to uplift, uplift your own. You don't have to dog anybody out to uplift your own. And you don't have to take a... It's nothing wrong with uplifting your own... Your, your, you know? It's nothing wrong with being dark-skinned and uplifting dark-skinned sisters. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong if a light-skinned person uplifts light-skinned people. There's nothing wrong. But we have to help each other out. Just like a dark-skinned person will uplift, you know... They're, you know, dark-skinned people, the dark skins, y'all got to uplift light-skinned people. And same with light-skinned people, y'all got to uplift y'all dark sisters. That's how you show that colorism is bullshit. That's how you show it. You can't just say all shades matter. You got to stand. Like, 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 like. We all remember on the next 15, right, when New York was on there and Laura Galvet, Galvet, whatever the whatever her name is, I'm trying not to cuss, but 
I kind of already said the S word, but I'm trying not to say the F the F word because the situation makes me mad. Um, remember when she was on the so show and she said, "Oh, uh, the show would be better if we had more light skinned people." I did not find that comment to be funny because why would you say that if you are proud to be black? How are you going to say some some shady ass stuff like that? I'm trying so hard not to cuss. So New York said, if you're going to, if you are so pro-black, if you are just so proud to be black, you got to step up for black people and black women. And you can't just stand up for light-skinned people. You have to stand up for all shades, honey. And that's the truth. We got to promote each other. We got to help each other out. We can't be dogging each other out. It's the point I'm trying to make. You know, colorism, it goes way back to slavery. And we just pretty much elevated it. It's worse, you know. And that's the only way we're going to get rid of it. We have to come up with solutions and just help each other out. We can't be dogging each other out because of our skin tone. Okay? Jessica can't help the fact that she's dark skinned. She can't help it. Just like Jennifer can't help the fact, the fact that she's light-skinned. So it really shouldn't even be an issue because that's just how we were born. We're not supposed to look the same. We're not supposed to look the same. We're all supposed to look different. That's what makes the world go round. So all I'm saying is in order for colorism to go away, we have to work on it. We have to work on it. And then once we do that, it will get better. Because we ain't doing nothing but dividing. We, we, we doing exactly what white supremacy told us from the beginning to do. This, this, is, this, is, what this is what they did. White supremacy did, did in slavery. And we just, we just doing it. We just, we doing it, you know. We further dividing. We ain't, we, we, th that just goes to show you that slavery really has affected. It, 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 for people, and, and it goes back to the whole Bernie Tree situation when she was just like, we need to forget slavery. We were not slaves and get over it. And the thing is, it's like, yes, we do need to move, like, move on from slavery, but we can't forget it. But she, the fact is, she's just like, oh, well, I think people just make stuff up, you know, saying that they're affected just, as, just to use it as an excuse. No, people are still affected. That's why we're going after each other now. Black or black crime, the colorism, you got the whole hotep versus coon, wannabe, wannabe hotep, wannabe pro-black leaders and the, the, the coon leaders and all that stuff. It's doing nothing but further dividing. All the all those leaders do on all day is just, is just debate who's smarter and who's not. And if you a Christian, oh, you a dummy because you're a Christian. Oh, you're a Muslim. But you're a, if you're a Muslim, then you're dumb. You know, I mean, really, none of that stuff should even matter. You can believe what you want to believe, and and, and and we can still move on as a community because. If we can all come together, then we can really, like, just take over shit. Like, we can really show people that black lives really do matter because we love each other. And we're going to stick up for one another. That's why black lives matter. They ain't gonna, people ain't going to have no choice but to accept that black lives matter. But as long as we fighting each other, and as long as we're dividing each other according to gender, um, skin tone, sexual orientation, and things of that nature, we're not, and then the YouTube beefs, these dumbass YouTube beefs, we're not going to go anywhere. Period. So instead of bashing each other, oh, you light skin, and you think you wild that, or you dark skin, and you ugly, instead of doing all that, why not just talk about colorism and experiences and figure out how we can move on from that that's all i gotta say i mean just because you are dark skin and this is for my dark skin sisters just because you are chocolate it doesn't make you less than and just because you are light skin it doesn't make you more than because everyone's beautiful but you gotta prove it you can't just you can't just say, oh, 
all skin tones matter. Because that's basically saying all lives matter. You got to prove that all lives matter. You got to prove that, that all skin tones matter. You got to stand for it. That's why I can't. I can't let it go. I can't let it go. I can't. If, if, if I, I can't even talk to a dude who's just like on that color of stuff. Like, oh, I, you know, dark skin women, they ugly and they all get ghetto. If, I can't even date a dude like that. I can't date a dude whose color is like that. Now, if you don't date light-skinned people, or if you don't date dark-skinned people, or you prefer light skin over dark skin, or you prefer dark skin over light skin, okay, that's fine. But you don't have to degrade. You don't have to do that. Because everybody has different tastes. But you don't have to do that. You don't. And if you were one of those people who are just, you know, talking about dark-skinned people being ugly, or if you're one of those people who are just like, oh, light-skinned people are ugly, you do know you can grow, and you can change that. Now, some people may not accept you, because they feel like you said what you said, and you meant what you said, but some people will, and they'll be like, you know what, you said it, but you know what, we can all grow and evolve from this. Because that's the whole point. And that's all I'm going to say. Black is beautiful, yes, in all shades. But we got to start showing that black is beautiful in all shades. We can't just say it. Because as long as we fight each other over skin tones and stuff like that, then obviously you don't believe that black is beautiful in all shades. You only think that black is beautiful in one shade. And that's not the case. So feel free to leave any of your experiences with colorism, but just know if there's any arguing or any debating, I don't mind a debate, but it has to be a healthy debate. If it's a negative debate and you're just going back and forth, cussing each other out and things like that, and you're leaving negative comments, you will be deleted because I will not have that in my um, on my channel. And you're just... You're part of the problem. If you're one of those people who are just like, colorism doesn't exist, then you're part of the problem. And obviously, you're still in the matrix. You're still asleep in the matrix. I mean, really, you need to be awake. You need to wake up to the reality of the situation. White supremacy has put it into in notion that the lighter you are, the better life you're going to have. So there is such thing as colorism. Accept it. And that's all I'm going to say. And we need to end it. This needs to stop. This shouldn't even be an issue in 2018. It shouldn't even be an issue. So like I said, feel free to comment your experiences. And remember, just because you're dark skinned, it don't mean you ain't beautiful, honey. You're gorgeous. And just because you're light-skinned, it doesn't mean that people hate you because you're light-skinned. You're gorgeous, but it has nothing to do with your skin tone. And same for you, dark-skinned woman. Now, yes, you need to love your, your skin. Love the skin that you're in. And light-skinned women, love the skin tone that you're in. Because that's the one you got. You can't go change it. Even if you was the... To tan, to get darker skin, you're still light skin. And dark skin sisters, just because you go and you bleach your skin, it doesn't make you, you're still dark skin. You're still dark skin. So love the skin that you're in. Love it. But that's not what makes you beautiful. What makes you beautiful is just the, just the way that God made you. You were made in his image. That's what makes you beautiful. Your personality. How, how, how you have a positive mind and positive thinking and just how you spread love and just be yourself. That's what makes you beautiful, honey. Love the skin that you're in. And that's all I have to say. Because colorism is the bullshit. It's bullshit. And that's all I have to say. So, bye.